Captain, over here, this is your room. Hey, you still with me? Oh, sorry, Captain. I, I was looking at the time stream, and, uh, I don't know, I was just thinking about that old poem about the two brothers, time and space. I don't remember that poem. Fairy tales got you spooked, kiddo? No, nothing like that, I guess. See, so you don't believe the stories? There are a bunch of stories you best be believing in. Tales of men lost to the void, waiver ships trying to explore new territories, never be heard from again. Though not too pretty like a poem. I didn't mean anything like that. Best not worry none. We'll be getting orders soon, then we can see what metal the gods made you from. Till then, familiarize yourself with the crew. Something moved us? Who, who could do that? And why did they do it? 
Mom, what can move us around like that? I am unsure. Whatever it was had a stream one matrix that caused it to shut down. Can we repair it? There isn't any materials from our time around yet. That is not true. My scouts also indicate a time matrix not far from here. 60652. Repeat offender. Mom, if we get the parts, can we repair the ship? Unlikely. The matrix will have to be of considerable size. We should look just to make sure. And if we happen to run into this guy, I'll give him a punch in the face. I know I shouldn't be worried about being stuck on the ancient earth, but imagine all of the lost recipes. Stay close and make this quick. This isn't a holiday. Need I remind you that we have a lost crew member? Okay, Hi, Captain. Hi, Captain. Captain, are you seeing this? Yeah, looks like we're going to have enough parts to go home. How could he get something this big? 60652 isn't just some repeat offender. He's the fastest runner we ever had. He changed so many things at his peak that we still have historians trying to figure out all the repercussions. Captain, I recognize that cart in the town square. You recognize it? Oh yes, it is very famous. That is King Midas' father's cart. It was given to the town and tied with a legendary guardian knot, with a prophecy saying the man to untie it would be granted great fortune. If I am right, Alexander the Great should be arriving any moment. Hello, monster. Leave these lands or tie my sword. Please? No, I won't leave you. I'll claim my place in history. There appears to be large armies entering the town from both the north and the south. I'm only showing life signs from the south. Captain, I do not remember an army of robots from the future in any of my history books. Ah! Oh, you burn us to the ground! Leave her on tie the knot! Well, monster, the crowd has spoken. Shall we claim our place in history? Sure. Sounds great. You mean first. Oh, uh, this isn't good. What do we do? Do something. What did you do? Something. Oh, well. Your turn. I don't. Man, leave the city. What just happened? Well, you see, Captain, I got scared. I didn't want him to cut the knot, so I put up a shoe around it. Oh, thank goodness. No, thank goodness. This is a bad thing. But now we can convince Alexander to cut the knot like he was supposed to do it. I'm going back to the ship. Fix this. Haji. Don't tell Captain, but I sort of broke the shield generator when I used it on a cart. And I can't turn it off now. Come on, let's go find Alexander before he leaves. Okay, wait, 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 you broke what? Is that how this a good thing anymore? Hold. Who dares into my tent? Sorry, Your Grace, but I must speak with you. What is this? A little girl and a slave have entered my tent and my guards have not told me? Um, excuse me? Little girl? I ought to punch you in the face. Racism aside, I am no slave. I am Haji. And please do not be alarmed. Despite her hostility, we are here to help you. Help me how? We saw you today in the square. You did not accept the challenge of the knot. We must ask you to try it again. Ha! Ah, you wouldn't watch it close enough then. A monster appeared last night with a giant metal boat that appeared from the sky. His clockwork men walked out and stood in the town square, and even when he used my blade, he could not come to find it. Now I am left without my sword and without my pride. I have no chance. Not exactly. See, we fixed your sword. Better than fixed. See, we used these little nanobots to repair the blade and created a coating that was heavy. we fixed the sword, okay? You better if I can't break the knot. How can I fight his metal men? <coughs> Let us worry about that. Hello, hello, come 
taste the fresh bread. I have the fresh bread for sale. Okay, Hodges in place. Vera, how are you doing? Oh, I'm great, Captain. It's a little cramped in here, and I was just thinking about how my jet blew before he disappeared. What if his personal time stream was somehow diverted during the storm, and he could realistically be... Vera, I meant, are you in place yet? Oh, sure, Captain. But think about it. If we don't find Mike soon, we might not recognize him, and he might not recognize us. He might not recognize Boo! Oh, no! Hey, get ready, you two. They're starting. You and you, but you're back to surrender your arm. Come to finish what you started. How did you do that? I was visited in the night and told to bring the sword here today and break the bindings on this car. Is it a rifle? No. A strange, angry little girl and a talkative slave friend. I am not a slave. I am Hardy. What's happening? I can't hear anything in here. Just hold tight and wait for your cue. You think just because you bring more to your sword means that you can cut through the... What? Vera, no! One last connection. There we go. All right, boys, bring me home. How did you do that? With a little help. Haji, contain them. I think that we can take it from here, Your Highness. Zeus! My lord, it humbles me to be in your presence. Zeus? Uh, <laughs> no need for that. Vera, uh, have you hooked up the Matrix yet? Almost, Captain. But with this junky thing, it looks like we only got a one-way trip. But, Captain, what about Mike? I've never lost a crewman. I'm not about to start now. What's wrong? Is the Matrix broken? I haven't finished connecting it yet. I don't know what's happening. Hold on tight. We're coming for you, boy. Captain? Haji? Mom? Haji, the power is offline and I can't find the captain. Oh, hi guys. Mike, are you okay? Oh, hello Mike, it is good to see you safe and uh, you look good. Yeah, I'm fine. I don't really remember what happened though. I remember being blue. We are sorry for your inconvenience. Yes, we are sorry. We needed some guidance. Yes, so uh, two pretty good specimens to you. Who are you guys? I think they're the brothers' time and space. Yes. Haji, it just occurred to me. We must be dreaming. Old North Americans would always give me crazy dreams. But, but Sarah, if you are dreaming, then how is it I can be dreaming in your dream? It's not a dream. Captain? Why are you going? And that must make Captain the father, and Mom the mother. Yes, Mike. You are correct to kill her. Wait, you are the father and mother of space and time? But I made you. You built the matrix for the ship, which I have been inhabiting. Now that we are together again, I have repaired it for you. Captain, I, I mean father, I don't understand. Fair. When space and time created life, they were afraid their feud would destroy that creation. Ever since they left, they have been trying to find a way to exist peacefully. We knew that when they could learn to see past their differences that we could all live together again. We knew that what we had made was beautiful, but we did not know why. We needed to see you through you through the eyes of the traveler. Experiencing life for the first time. That was me. Yes. Well, what about us? Oh, you'll be fine. The ship's in tip top shape, and there's still a mess of problems in history that need to be sorted out. Vera, I'm leaving the ship in your capable hands. Well, who is mother? Why did Vera leave you? As for you, Clarence, you're coming with us. Let's see if we can expand your mind. Wait, no! I didn't mean it! Can't I just go to jail? Captain? Mom? Ship's computer responding. Mom? 